Hello everyone, it's Clay Ramage back again with another video. This time it is a what sold in August video, the last half of August. Um, the beginning of August started out really, really well and it ended really, really well. So that's very exciting. It was my best month ever on uh, my eBay sales as well as I sold some over $300 on Facebook and I'm going to have my best month yet at the antique store too. So I haven't got the total yet. It'll be a couple days before I get the total sales for the month of August at the Pink Elephant. But yeah, just an exciting time. Uh, busy month, a lot of good stuff. And most of the stuff uh, I got that sold in August were stuff that I found and bought in August. So it's pretty current inventory. A few items that are older, like actually this first item here, this heartfelt feathered friend, friends prints. There's three of them. I found these at the bins. When I first started going there back in December, these were one of my first finds. Uh, I sold these three for, I took a best offer on them just because I wanted to move them out. Uh, I took a best offer of $10 and not realizing I had free shipping on this. So I actually made like a dollar on these prints, but I was happy to uh, get them moved out and into somebody else's house. So that's good. And uh, forgive my computer, it's being a little slow today. So. It's not exactly the most powerful thing in the world, and I think I have too many windows open for it to operate effectively. But anyway, next item uh, is if you watched my art print video a few weeks ago, this was one of the prints that I got um, at a thrift store. Uh, this one I paid $1.99. It's actually from Italy. I'm not going to attempt to try to explain the name, but it's based on a print from like 1540 and uh, reproduced and put in this beautiful decorative frame uh, with gilding on it and some hand painting. It was a really, really neat picture. Um, so this sold for full, full price, $34.99 plus shipping. Um, and yeah, I was exceeded, excited to see that go. I actually had that hanging above my desk right here. It was only hanging for like two days and then I had to ship it off. So short term. Okay, here we go. Here's our Hanky Hall. Again, if you watched my video from a few weeks ago when we, the garage sale um, videos, there was part one and part two, and I don't remember which one I talked about the hankies in, but I uh, found, I bought a bag of handkerchiefs, vintage handkerchiefs for a dollar. I did not know what was in it, just saw that it said 30 handkerchiefs, and uh, just picked it up. And once I got it home and opened it up, I found there were a good number of them that were never used uh, from the 50s, early 60s that still had original labels on them. Um, and as I started listing them, this was the first one I listed. It sold while, I mean, like within minutes of me listing it. And uh, then she contacted me and asked if I was listing any more. I said, yes, I'm listing more. And she bought some more while I was still listing them. I actually ended up selling three of these while before I got them all listed. So this was really good. This one sold um, for $30. $29.99 plus shipping. The, because they're small, they went first class. Yeah, this was a great little, you know, vintage handkerchief. Uh, here's another one that sold right away. This was a money one, which is really cool. It is signed and it's really hard to see the signature on it. Uh, Dessin Depose, French um, uh, designer. Uh, here's another one. Oh, that one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. There's this fishing one, again, brand new, still has the labels down here in the corner, the hand rolled and Kimball. Uh, that one sold for $14.99. So right away, you know, I may sold $70 in the first hour on my $1 investment, and I've sold many more since then. So it's a great investment. This um, next item are five Mary Engelbright uh, knobs, you know, cabinet knobs for uh, either a dresser or, you know, bathroom cabinets, whatever. Found these at a garage sale for $2, the whole bag. I was very excited. Three of them are brand new in the package and two of them were used. I, they were kind of dirty, so they definitely were used, not just open package. Um, but cleaned them up, listed them, sold them same day for $24.90, you know, which is about $5 per knob. So another great investment. Just had some great finds in August. Here's another lot um, of the handkerchiefs. These were all just the miscellaneous ones used. I actually sold these to a viewer 
great subscriber, Rachel. Thank you so much for your purchase, Rachel. And uh, I keep my eyes peeled for more. If I find them, I'll let you know. And let's see the next item. This we found at the bins, my wife and I. It's a billionaire game. Um, and this game actually ended up having, it's from 1956. Um, it was here in the Twin Cities is where this game was actually made, which is interesting. Um, but it was just a board and a few marbles. So there's five marbles and the board. It did have a set of dice with it, um, but it still sold for $63.35. I put this up for auction and I listed it at starting at $45 and ended up selling for $63.35. And uh, so yeah, and that was without all the parts to it. There were deeds and other things that uh, went along with this game. So that was another great find. Again, we probably paid a dollar, a dollar fifty for it at the bins. So good deal. Dollhouse furniture. Um, there were two sets of these. I put the furniture in one and the frames in another, and they both sold to the same person. Uh, combined shipping. And again, these all I found at the bins. So I think altogether, yeah, 15. So altogether, this was like $30 and uh, plus shipping. So that was another good find at the bins. And I think that was the day Kate went with me and we were digging through trying to find all the pieces to those. So um, thanks, Kate, for your help on that one. Um, here's another one of the vintage handkerchiefs, Tamas Keefe horse riding, horse racing. Um, another just fun graphic. There's the signature on the bottom. Fun. Um, handkerchief. This is another handkerchief. This one again sold to one of my viewers and uh, the uh, kittens. And uh, why am I drawing a blank? Who bought this? Thank you. I think it was Kathy. Um, but yeah, just a, this was a child's handkerchief. It's a smaller size, so very adorable. And next is this bowl again. This one I found at the bins, I think back in December, early on. It reminded me of M.A. Hadley, but it's not a Hadley bowl. Um, just a similar thing. I had this down at the Pink Elephant for a while. Didn't sell down there. Brought it home, put it on eBay. It sat on eBay for a long time. Finally sold for $6 plus shipping. And it was a heavy bowl. Here's another handkerchief. This one um, sold to another viewer, Judith. And uh, I sold her this and some other items that are coming up. Thank you, Judith, for your purchase. Glad I could send these to you. And uh, yeah, so, and we made a deal. So that's not the price I sold it to her for. And uh, this was an item I found at one of the Goodwill stores. Uh, just an hourglass, hand-blown glass with the stri striations in it, in the glass which makes it a little more unusual and more valuable than the plain ones. So listed this for $15.99, sold for full, full asking price. Um, this was another item we got at the garage sales. This was a Hewlett Packard 32S2 um, calculator, scientific calculator. You know, a lot of people talk about the Texas Instruments, but this Hewlett Packard one um, sold uh, for... I actually took a best offer. I listed it, and then within half an hour, I got an offer. I accepted the offer and sent it off since I paid $2 for it. The offer was for $50. Um, so for half hour's worth of work, I made 48 bucks. I can handle that kind of profit. Um, so yeah, it was in perfect condition. It looked like it was hardly ever used. Didn't even have to clean it. So good deal. Um, these are two... Um, Ornaments, Halloween ornaments that I found at the bins, a little smashed, uh, the boxes, that is. One was better than the other, but they were both kind of smashed. Um, there's the ghost and uh, the Frankenstein. And these are from Target, um, 2001. So even though they are, you know, not a high-end name brand like Department 56 or one of those companies, uh, it was a Target brand, and they were only $4 new. Um, because they're 20 years old, approximately kind of vintage, they do have a collector's market and Halloween. Um, sold these for $20 plus shipping. So that was a great find. Because again, I probably paid 50 cents for both of them because they're very light. Um, good stuff. Oh, this is the other thing that Judith bought for me, one of my viewers. Um, and it's this tatting ribbon. 
uh, she bought four rolls and three rolls of the tatting ribbon and then this other ribbon which had this beautiful graphic on it. These I found at garage sales at our time in Delano. So those garage sales paid off. We got some great finds there. These three prints, vintage needlepoint, cruel work, I found at the bins. Um, they were a set, obviously, exact same frames, done by the same person, very well done. Um, sold these for $20 plus shipping. I sell a lot of these. Anytime I find them, I pick them up because they sell well. It's if I find them for, you know, usually $1 to $2. So nice little profit margin on those. Here's this Dr. Brewer's um, kaleidoscope kit that I found at one of the stores. I believe I paid $4.99 for this. $4.99 or $5.99. I can't exactly remember which. But basically, you make your own kaleidoscope. Um, everything was brand new in its packages. So somebody must have gotten it, never used it. And uh, so I picked it up, sold it for $50. Again, just within a few weeks of listing it, it sells. Uh, another item I bought at the garage sales when we were there in Delano. This is a vintage Nori Peter collector plate. Um, she did a series uh, with um, Eskimo children and other scenes from Alaska. So a wonderful thing. I actually accepted best offer on this. I paid a dollar for it. I can't remember what I took for an offer. Honestly, it was like 10 or 12 dollars. Um, plus shipping. So yeah, great little plate. Um, this cast iron bank I found at the bins, wonderful old, not a reproduction. This one is a truly a vintage one. And let me see if I can, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but oh yeah, there's a little bit there, but inside, this is part of the reason you know it was truly vintage. It was filled with a huge cobweb, almost a hole inside. I didn't want to didn't want to clean it out and I didn't dust this either. I just listed it as is and stated it as is. You can see the layers of dust on it. To me it just proved the authenticity that it's an older bank and not a not a repro. Oh, but it just cracked me up this huge old cobweb inside. I tried to take pictures but because it's deep inside you really couldn't see it. Um, but yeah so that sold for $40 plus shipping um, right away too. Quick sale. Um, but it's, yeah, it was a great piece. This mug I found at an estate sale, paid a dollar for it. It is actually of a, uh, um, Mort Kunstler Civil War Chamberlain's Charge. It's a battle scene on there. Um, uh, quite collectible, still had the original label on the bottom, paper label. So it never been washed. It was always just a display item, which these usually are. But this sold for $20 plus shipping. Great find there. Um, this Murano Kitty. Uh, it, it's, he's a, oh, I just realized. Sometimes I don't know why things don't sell, and that's because I have bad photos. Yeah, I had him backwards. And this one, again, I've had for a long time. So this was before I got my newer phone with a much better camera. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's Mark Murano, Venezuela. Um, and uh, it's, it's a cat sitting on an ice cube. I don't know why you'd have them on an ice cube, but anyway, it's what it is. Uh, sold for $10 plus shipping. And next item. Okay. The last of the Bernina 830 sewing machine parts that I parted out. Uh, the, this is the foot pedal controller and the cord. Sold those together. Um, sold for $75 plus shipping. So all total on that machine, I made about $280 on that Bernina sewing machine by parting it out. There you go. Good money for 50 cent investment. Um, this I actually sold for my mother-in-law. She had a large Halloween collection that we've been helping her sell. Uh, this is a battery operated Frankenstein or Dracula Frankenstein. Listen to me. I get so confused sometimes. It's Dracula. He um, sits up out of the coffin and the coffin door opens as he's sitting up. I have these pictures out of sequence, but you get the picture. And uh, sold him for best offer of 20. We actually had him at our garage sale and he didn't sell for $2. Um, and it's because we didn't really, there was, my wife was handling all of her mom's stuff and I was trying to deal with all of my stuff. So we listed him. 
or put them on the garage sale for cheap and nobody bought them. So then I brought them back, looked them up and thought, oh, let's list them. So we sold that one and another one of hers for $20 each. So it's a good thing they didn't sell it to garage sale for two. Anyway, this is a uh, another item I found at the bins. It's a beautiful little trinket box, wooden, um, with this beautiful little um, lacing to keep the uh, edges together. You can see the wooden pegs on there as well, right here, uh, and then the lacing. So great little find, sold for $25 plus shipping. Um, just a small box, like four inches across, had this blocking on top. Um, so yeah, somebody did a great job making this many years ago. And then the final item that they sold during the month of August was this uh, puzzle, brand new in the box, fan collectible. It's a Major League Baseball uh, puzzle with all sorts of things. So that would be a nice hard one to uh, put together. But yep, so another great puzzle. Again, I found that at the bins, brand new in the box. So pick those up when you find them, sold for $18 plus shipping. Um... So yeah, so that's what we sold during the month of August, the last half of the month of August. So August was an incredible month. We sold over $1,700 on eBay, $300 on Facebook, and who knows how much at the Pink Elephant at this point. So for me, that's an incredible month. Never had that big of a month before. So if we keep that up, hey, retirement's good for me. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you later. Bye.